We good to go? All right, we'll get started. We'd like to welcome 11-time LPGA Tour winner Lexi Thompson into the interview room at the Shriners Children's Open. Uh, this week, Lexi is competing on a sponsor exemption and becomes the seventh uh, woman to compete in a PGA Tour event. Uh, Lexi, if we could just get an opening comment from you on what it means to compete on the PGA Tour this week. It, it means the world to me. I'm very honored that Shriners invited me to come out to play this week. Um, you know, not only to play alongside the men has been something, you know, I grew up doing with my brothers and um, have wanted to do, but to also send a message out to the Shriners kids that no dream is too small and they can go after what they want and follow their dreams. All right, we'll take some questions out here. If you have a question, we'll get a microphone to you. Um, we'll start with Greg. Hi, Lexi. Um, is there any part of you that when you got the invite that wanted to say no, or was it just an automatic yes? It was basically an automatic yes. Um, I, I did have plans this weekend, but they moved to next week now. But it was such an exciting feeling. I got the news two Sundays ago, right after I had played at Walmart. So um, it was kind of surreal. I was kind of letting that round kind of soak in and have a good round under my belt. And then I got that news. I'm like, all right, well, this is all just exciting. So. Um, like I said, I'm just very honored that they want me here to compete this week and hopefully send out a message, an inspiring one. Have you talked to Brittany or Michelle or anyone that's done this before you for any advice? Um, I haven't really. They've all reached out to me wishing me the best of luck, but haven't gotten any advice. You know, I'm just here to play alongside the men, play within myself. I know my game, um, and I've played well the last few weeks, but honestly just enjoy the whole experience and embrace it all and see the kids out there and, you know, just enjoy it. And then I know he's retracted it, but any reaction to Peter Malnati saying this is just a gimmick? <laughs> no reaction. I mean, I, I knew some comments were going to happen with anything, you know, so... Um, like I said, I'm out here playing, of course, with the men, but I want to leave a message um, just to these kids that I'm following my dreams and to go after what you want with a positive mindset and don't let anybody's comments or reactions get in the way of that. Um, but it's all good. I mean, I expected it, so. We'll go to Karen um, in the back there. Lexi, people who don't follow women's golf closely probably don't realize the microscope you've been under since before you turned pro. Um, you've handled it especially well this year. How do you, where does that resiliency come from? And how do you think it might benefit you this week? I think it's just since I've been under the microscope, I guess, since I was 12 years old, just being used to it. But honestly, just believing in yourself um, and not really listening to outside expectations or um, any people that judge you because you know what you're capable of and all you have to do is believe in the work that you've put in and go out there and trust the process. And that's all I've done throughout my whole career. And, you know, turning pro at a young age was a big step and doing this. So really, you just have to go out there and do what you love. And can you, um, what was that yardage on your three wood at, on 16? <laughs> Um, I had 230 pin um, and hit my three wood. I think it landed about pin high or one bounced over. So. Tim? Uh, yeah, Lexi, you mentioned before the Solheim, you found something in your swing. I think you used the word tremendously that changed your swing. What was it that you found and, and how has it helped you since then? I can't say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was something very simple, but... You know, I feel like as golfers and athletes, we kind of have our tendencies of always going back to certain things. Even when we're struggling, we always have tendencies of what our swing kind of goes to. And um, I just really focusing in on this one thing, and it's kind of gotten me a lot better on track with my swing plane and everything. So um, just really dialed into that the week before Solheim, and I probably hit hundreds of golf balls every day until I, I got it down because um, I wanted to go to Solheim and play my best golf because representing your country, that's, that's what I live for. How often do you feel kind of restricted by the LPGA setups? And is this part of the appeal here is you get to kind of let loose and rip it a little? I noticed on 17, you know, you, you hit and driver off the deck on the par five for fun and doing some things that you probably don't get to do typically mm -hmm. on the LPGA. 
Yeah, it's nice to come here and hit a lot of drivers, of course. Um, you know, the last few weeks I didn't hit too many drivers, but you still have to hit the golf shots out on the LPGA Tour. It's just I don't get to take advantage of sometimes my length on a few of those holes. Um, but here, it's the driver basically on every hole. So I definitely like that um, and just kind of fire away and swing and get the most distance I can on a few of those holes. Okay, last one for me. You've done a ton of things. Where would making the cut rank in terms of your career accomplishments? Definitely at the top. <laughs> Definitely at the top of my accomplishments. Um, it's been an honor just to get this invite, but one step at a time, one shot at a time, but um, that would be an amazing feeling. We'll go to Chris back there. So, Lexi, saying that, what is what would you consider a successful week? You know... Yes, good golf is a successful week, but honestly, if I can leave here inspiring others, and especially the kids, um, the Shriners kids, that's what it's all about and what this tournament is. There's more than just playing golf. If I can inspire one individual, um, I, I feel like I'm making progress. And, of course, yes, I want to play good. That's a whole other story, but there's more to life than just performing well, and that's what I want to do. I want to inspire others and... Yeah, we'll, we'll see where the golf takes me. I know I've played well the last few weeks, and I'll just take one shot at a time. Whatever happens, it's just a blessing to be here. How did, uh, did Shriners reach out to you to gauge your interest in even getting an invite, or how did all this get started? They reached out to my management team. Um, I found out two Sundays ago of Walmart that um, they wanted me to play here. So it was kind of last minute, last notice, and... I was like, all right, yeah, let's go. I didn't know it was in the works, but I'm very happy that it was and I wasn't expecting it at all. But I'm, I'm happy that it's this event because there's definitely more to golf. And finally for me, uh, how much of an advantage for you do you feel having Nick on your bag who has played a number of PGA Tour events? He's not on my bag. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, well, all right. So how, how much of an advantage is it having brothers who have played on PGA Tour events, and what have they been able to tell you about being out here? Yeah, they both have played this golf course. Um, so they've given me a few tips, and I've definitely had a few people that have been out on this course that gave me some tips on the golf course, whether it was distances, carries, and that I didn't have to worry about too many carry numbers or anything out there, that I had, the, I had plenty of distance to handle the golf course. So... Um, it was definitely a relieving feeling um, because, you know, coming into a PGA Tour event, you never know distance-wise if, you know, my distance is good enough. Um, but, yeah, the course is in amazing shape. It's a great layout, and I'm just happy that I get to just bomb driver everywhere. More from Karen. Lexi, out there on the back nine, it was so low-key, and I was wondering playing with Michael and Ben if it, it kind of felt – took you back to your days when you might play with Nicholas and Curtis um, <laughs> on a Sunday or a weekend or whatever? Yeah, it, it really did. Um, Michael and Ben were great. They're so nice, and we just had a relaxing practice round, and they helped me out with a few of the holes, giving me some tips on them, and um, it was just a very chill practice round, and growing up with two older brothers that play, I always grew up playing with them and their, and their friends, so I've been used to it, um, so it was you know, nice to be out there just having a relaxing practice round and just kind of joke around and um, get some feedback from the guys. Great. Just one more, Lexi. Um, I'm friends with the president of the National Organization of Women, the Nevada chapter, and they're going to be out here this week supporting you. Does that add pressure to you, or do you feel the support, or do you feel like you're carrying the banner for women this week? Or I wouldn't say it adds any pressure. I mean... Playing golf and being a woman golfer, the top woman golfer, I, I just want to inspire people in general. Yes, women that, you know, male-dominated sport, I guess, um, just to show that anything's possible. And that I'm following my dreams. I've done this since I was well, five years old, but in the spotlight, I guess, since I was 12. And um, that you just have to block out everything and believe in yourself and go after what you want. So no added pressure. That's what I want. I want to have women that support me and me support them and that's what it's all about i think we got one on the left there and then we'll come up to you next thank you hi lexi uh, you talked so much about being able to hit more drivers here than on the lpj tour have you mm -hmm. made any tweaks to your golf bag this week because of some longer clubs into holes or anything like that 
I would say the only thing, because I play with five wedges, so sometimes I have to either take out a wedge or a usually my five iron when I play, but the five iron will be in the bag this week, um, and then I'll take out one of my wedges. But um, no added clubs or different clubs for that matter, but I'll definitely take out a wedge. Yeah. We'll go to Emily in the front. Your practice round today um, looked really good. How would you say this course maybe suits your game besides being long? Um, I would just say, well, first off, it's in amazing shape. Um, it's so pure. But, yeah, I, I definitely get to hit a lot of drivers out there. I feel like it sets up for a good draw, um, and I feel very comfortable with just aiming up the right side of some of the fairways and playing my little baby draw um, with my driver. But besides that, you know, you still have to – plan for the numbers coming into the greens, play for that little bit of bounce out because I'm sure it'll get firmer as the week goes on. Um, but it's just an amazing layout. Um, this is my first time, so um, I didn't really know what to expect besides what everybody was telling me, but it definitely exceeded my expectations. Last question, sorry. It's often said that like the women have accuracy where the men have length. Do you feel that's the case? And how, how much of an advantage do you think that is this week that you, you've been hitting really into the pin? Well, it helps, I guess, my length for sure coming into some of these greens, especially if it gets firmer um, on some of those greens that go a little bit away. Um, it's definitely a little bit of an advantage, but you just you still have to hit the fairways and give yourself the best opportunity to come into these greens with some shorter clubs. Um, for me, maybe a little bit longer of a club, but, but it's a great layout, so I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. Any other questions for Lexi? We got one in the front here. Hi. Um, what is the first thing that comes to your mind about the challenge ahead of you this week? The first thing that comes to my mind, I, I mean, I don't really see it as a challenge, of course, coming into a PGA Tour event, um, being a woman's a, a challenge, but um, I just got to play within myself. I know my game. Don't try to push anything. Uh, play within myself, and that's all I can do. Um, try my best on every single shot, 100% committed, and whatever happens. I, I can only control my emotions and my game, so. And then last question. If you had, um, or who has given you the best advice about this week and what would it be? Um, I would say there's just a group of people here that have played the golf course plenty of times that have given me so many tips and feedback on the golf course and have walked the golf course for me and um, really checked some numbers out that made me feel very comfortable coming into the week and even playing today um, that I wasn't too worried about it. Thank you. Yeah. Good. All right, Lexi, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Best of luck this week. Thank you.